truck company, Service Aerial Rescue Operations. This video will outline the Service Aerial Rescue Operations for the Engineer Candidate Certification, or ECC. Prior to beginning the operation, the candidate will have an opportunity to pre-trip the service aerial truck. Once ready to begin the rescue operation, the raider will describe the objectives to the candidate. The candidate must ensure they are wearing the proper PPE, not wearing a helmet in the cab, check for crew and apparatus security, ensuring everyone is seated and seat belted in the cab, and that all compartment doors are closed prior to moving. Turn on all emergency lights, including headlights. Once the spring brake is released, check the door and seatbelt warning lights. Spot the apparatus turntable in the correct location for aerial operations. If possible, the truck should be spotted on the corner of the building or objective for optimal reach. Set the parking brake and front brake. Time starts. Place the transmission into neutral. Engage the ladder master and ladder PTO devices. Exit the cab, ensuring to take helmet, portable radio, and other PPE. Place wheel blocks on left and right front tires. Collapsible wheel blocks locked. Place forward and aft of wheel must be done before outriggers. Wheel blocks should be in complete alignment with tire, square to tread. Verbalize operating grade level indicators for slope and grade identification prior to leveling. Switch hydraulic power to stabilizer position if equipped. Turn on high idle switch. Extend outriggers, low side first, high side second. Do not short jack. Place outrigger plates down. Place the plates with handles facing the truck side to avoid a trip hazard. Lower the jacks to the ground, low side first, utilizing stair step lifting if needed. Jacks should be placed in the center of the pads. Per taskbook and operator's manual, the operator can either take the bulge out of the rear tires or raise the tires off the ground on level ground. Front tires must maintain contact at all times. Verbalize and ensure apparatus level indicators are green for slope and grade. Verbalize and ensure all on-ground indicator lights are illuminated to activate ladder power. Place safety pins. Chains must be unrolled if equipped. Ensure that the handle end does not come in contact with the outrigger box. Ensure that the T-handle is to the outside. Switch hydraulic power to aerial if equipped. Close outrigger control doors if equipped. Replace pedestal safety chain after mounting turntable if equipped. Open cover to pedestal controls. Verbalize proper placement of control levers for rescue operations. Monitor portable radio at all times. Turn volume on aerial ladder intercom up to an audible level. Ensure high idle is on. Turn on aerial ladder tracking lights. Issue clear and audible verbal statements prior to aerial ladder movement. To operate aerial controls, activate dead man pedal or pull up on locking collars if equipped. Two hands are recommended. Do not override safety interlocks if equipped. Ensure proper placement for rescue operations. One movement at a time is preferred. Elevate, rotate, extend, but multiple movements can be done simultaneously. Elevate, rotate to desired target, extend to desired or directed height, ensure rung alignment light is on, lower to objective or designated area for rescue. Minor adjustments to aerial ladder are acceptable. The tip of the ladder must be within 24 inches of objective, measured from the last rung of the tip of the ladder. No part of the ladder can touch the objective or structure during any ladder movement. All movement with aerial ladder must be smooth and safe. State aerial is ready for climbing. Notify Raider that the evolution is completed by calling time. Rescue shutdown procedures. Properly signal for shutdown pickup. Utilize radio, voice, or hand signals to verify shutdown with personnel. Ensure ladder is between 70 and 75 degrees before retracting ladder. Retract ladder. Rotate ladder to bed position. Lower ladder. Stop ladder prior to bedding to visualize both sides for obstructions. 
recheck nozzle position. If left or right movements must be made at or below 20 degrees, utilize zero to 20 degrees override switch on pedestal if equipped. Be aware of the truck body when making left and right movements below 20 degrees. All movements with aerial ladder must be smooth and safe. Lower ladder to cradle. Load hydraulic system until audibly bypassing to verify ladder is properly bedded 1000 PSI on pedestal gauge. Turn off aerial lighting. Turn off intercom. Close pedestal cover. Exit turntable. Ensure safety chain is clipped in place if utilized. Remove and properly stow outrigger safety pins. Must be done before moving outriggers. Stow outriggers. Switch hydraulic power to stabilizer position if equipped. Raise and stow outriggers, high side first. Retract outriggers until seated. Close outriggers control doors if equipped. Replace outrigger jack plates. In the cab, ensure jacks not nested light is off or check command zone if equipped. Disengage ladder PTO and master devices. Turn off all emergency lights if safe to do so. Turn on four-way flashers, shut down engine. Secure all equipment and the apparatus, nozzles, hose, compartment doors, etc. All equipment should be returned to the same compartment where it was found. Perform safety walk around. Verify all previous steps are completed and perform any that were missed. Notify the raider that the apparatus is road ready, except for picking up the wheel blocks and the four-way flashers. Thank you.